Welcome back to Beauty and Soul Studio. So this is part nine in my 12 part series all about the basics of blue base, yellow base color system. On my channel we talk all about this system. My grandmother learned about this from the founder or the person who discovered it I should say, Bob Doerr himself. And now I am here partnering with her, bringing this knowledge to a whole new generation of people that may have never heard about it before. Today we're going to focus on interior design. I have a really cool example to show you the importance of not mixing color spectrums when you're decorating. If you've ever decorated a home or renovated a home, I'm sure you've gone through the process of choosing paint colors, furniture colors, colors for your tile, for your wood, everything. And maybe it's been confusing trying to figure out what colors are going to work well in that particular room, right? It really all comes down to the undertone of the colors that you are choosing. The blue base yellow base color system is so important when choosing colors for your home because every single color is either blue or yellow based and choosing the colors from one spectrum is the best way to choose color combinations. Decorating in one spectrum creates peace and harmony. Another way that you can create peace and harmony is by paying attention to the vibrancy and the saturation of the colors that you are choosing and having them all be the same vibrancy. I'm definitely going to go into more detail about that in a future video. Here are two really good examples of mixing undertones when you're decorating. So the color on the bottom and to my left here, these are a blue based blues and then yellow based oranges and yellows. So that couch right there, I think they were probably choosing that color because it stands out from the wall. So it's an accent chair, right? Also here to my right is a really good example of mixing undertones. That is a blue based pink with a yellow based green and a yellow based yellow. This is definitely not my favorite style, but you can see how mixing undertones sometimes can be subtle and it actually doesn't look that bad. But if you really wanted to create a space that looks harmonious and is peaceful, you're going to want to stick to one undertone. Bohemian decor is actually one of my favorites. So a lot of Bohemian rooms actually are mixed spectra, mixed key. So here to my left and to my right, you see tons of different colors in there. And a lot of them are blue based and a lot of them are yellow based. However, the picture to the far right is all yellow based. See how much more calming that looks. In the mixed spectrum Bohemian room, we have this beautiful mustard yellow and a yellow based wood floor. And here in this throw pillow, we have a rusty orange that is very yellow based. Now we'll point out some blue based colors in this room. So this lamp is definitely a beautiful blue based pink, one of my favorite colors. Another blue based pink, a darker magenta. And a blue based blue green right here on the couch. Here's a quick snapshot of all the blue base and yellow base colors together. So I want to know from you, what is your take on these color choices? Do you like them together? How would you feel if they were all yellow based or all blue based? And here is the yellow based Bohemian room. So all the colors in this room are yellow based. I've pulled out some of my favorite colors from the room. We have a lot of oranges, reds, browns, and beiges. And actually the only thing that is blue based in this room is the white, white walls, that snowy white. But in my opinion, having a little splash of snowy white here and there in a yellow based room is not that detrimental. It only becomes detrimental when that white is a focus of the room. But I love this room. I feel like I could drink tea in this room, curl up, read a book, get cozy, you know, have a salt lamp on. I feel like this room is definitely the boho style that I would go for. Even though I'm a blue base person, I love, love the aesthetic of this yellow base room. Do you have a hard time seeing the difference between blue and yellow base colors? I totally get it. We actually have a few more left of our color fans, our color dictionaries. They have been selling like crazy. These are actually the original Bob Door color fans that he consulted on himself. So there's a blue base side and a yellow base side. The big color dictionaries are really useful for interior design because you can pull out the pages and lay them out together and kind of create color combinations yourself. You can also take these two paint shops and get them actually matched to paints and take them with you when you're furniture shopping, rug shopping, whatever you may be doing. We have them both available on our website, beautyandsoulstudio.com. My last little plug here, my grandmother and I just launched our first 
color course. This is the blue base, yellow base system starter course, all about the fundamentals of the system. You'll learn a little bit about the history, about my grandma's experience doing this for over 50 years. And you'll also learn a lot of tips and tricks on how to figure out and analyze your personal coloring to figure out what colors look best on you. Thank you so much for watching today. That was a little tiny snapshot of all the tons of knowledge that we have about interior design and how to decorate your home and your spaces with harmony and peace. We're going to be creating way more videos than this, but this is just like a little introduction on why it's so important. All right. We'll see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe. Love ya.